Well, good afternoon, almost evening, YouTube. Today, I've got a video demonstrating a couple more exercises, something simple to do, and even a way to compensate if necessary. Now, for those of you that have had back injuries or something that's causing you a lack of flexibility, your best bet, get some type of pillow or cushion. In addition, you may need something as inexpensive as this here, a yoga mat. Now we can set this down, utilize this so that for those of you that don't want to be on a hardwood floor or even very stiff carpet, you can make a way when it was limitations before. going to be utilizing that today for a couple of purposes. I had a request to demonstrate what planking was. So without any further ado, I'm going to grab one more assistive device and even suggest these here that I mentioned before. Something lightweight, you can find them at dollar stores, five pound dumbbells. You can add these to some of the other exercises I've shown before that will help you to speed up the process of the muscle burn down, build a little extra strength, work with something other than canned goods. Again, these are inexpensive and they can be found just about anywhere. I think they were $5 each. Today we have a special guest, Mr. Couch. Mr. Couch is gonna be an assistive device. So hey, hello, Mr. Couch. I'll be right back. Had to go and get our other guest, Mr. Pillow. People like myself that may have suffered neck and or back injuries in the lower area, you may need something like this for a little extra cushion. For the moment, we're gonna set them down on Mr. Couch and let them keep each other company. But number one, planking can be done from a position that's very similar to push-ups starting out. You want to back up along your mat, position your toes, and you're basically laying your palms of your hands down flat on the floor and resting along your forearms. So from that position there, I'm going to give it just a little bit more of an angle so you can check this out and see clearly. And hopefully I'm speaking loud enough to be heard clearly. From toes near the end, set it on down. This is push-up position for planking, forearms down, back straight, palms down. This position you want to hold for as long as you literally can. It's warming up your lower back muscles and it's allowing you to strengthen your chest, shoulders, and even forearms to a degree. You hold this, you want to work with increments of time anywhere from five to seven minutes for beginners and if that's too difficult build it up work your way up we all start somewhere another one i want to show today is what the guest is here for or shall i say guests this pillow will come into hand because i'll set it down and basically make sure that i position it under the small of my back for crunches, which is the second exercise that I'm showing, Mr. Couch, for anything that has enough of a space under it for you to wedge your feet, if you've got a partner to work with, that's great. Right about now, I just have these special guests. So you want to tuck your feet under the couch with your knees bent, pointed towards the ceiling, and then you lay back, which means I'll adjust this mat, to where you'll lay flat on your back, on the floor. Some people cross their arms behind your head. Some people keep them out forward or they'll put them forward to touch their knees or towards their feet. I'll start by 
tucking my feet under Mr. Couch, setting it down very slowly, and then modify our special guest. Do you hear? For starters, go ahead and rub your lower abdomen on up to the bottom edge of your rib cage so that you can know what area of group of muscles you're targeting. Slide Mr. Table here out of the way. Get my hands into position. The first thing you want to remember with crunches are they are not full sit-ups. For those of you that do full sit-ups, which of course look more like this, more power too. For today's demonstration, we're doing crunches. So firstly, you want to tense your feet just enough under the edge of the couch, and you want to work your way up slowly. Most things that are built start off slow. So upper crunches, you're literally keeping your head, neck, shoulders, and your upper back straight, but you're crunching it up slowly. And then back down. You wanna do that at least 10 times. If five is your goal at the moment, because that's all you're capable of, start out there, we all start somewhere. Work your way up slowly, and as that gets easier and you get more and more used to it, add five. When you start getting intermediate and advanced, you wanna make sure that you start targeting to do as many as possible, slowly with proper form, within two to five minutes. Now again with these, you're not lifting your head up, you're lifting your upper back, neck, shoulders, and arms all together. You're constricting your abs and exhaling on the way up. completed 10 of those, your next step, while even resting and taking a break, excuse me, I'm not going to throw my shoes on the couch, it was a nice donated gift, I'll kick those off, to the side with them, another variation of crunches, not quite leg lifts, but for this moment, I will actually lift my legs, set them up on the couch. This gives you a little extra stretch and range to work with where you have to balance and focus not lifting your legs any higher up off of the couch, allowing them to rest there. Same thing with the upper torso, hands behind the head. You want to do 10 crunches this way. That completes the demonstration for the day. Work those variations. If you do half of your workout in the morning, half of it at night, especially if you do your crunches before bed, you'll continue to burn calories and help develop your abs while sleeping. Add that to good nutrition and a healthy diet, you'll be on your way to recovering and building up and chiseling what it is that you want. Enjoy it, have fun with it, like, share, subscribe. If you got any comments or any specifics you want to see, make sure to leave them in the comment section. Crit criticism is always welcome. I don't mind at all. And again, stay motivated, inspire others, and take your time to enjoy yourself. That'll be all for today. Like I said again, enjoy it. Take it easy. Peace and love.